Well, hello and welcome to my first video of 2023. I actually filmed this before Christmas time, um, but this is one that's coming out for you. I decided uh, kind of last minute to deep clean my tile floors on the downstairs, downstairs level of our house. Um, my The rest of my family, except for my toddler, went up to the mountains to spend some time in the snow and I stayed back with our toddler because the cabin that they stay at, um, it's my in-laws cabin, but it's just not baby proofed. <laughs> and it's really hard having her there and also trying to, you know, just do other things. So I do not mind staying back, especially this time because all four of my older children and my husband went. So it was actually pretty quiet for I think five or six days uh, they were gone. And they had a blast, a uh, lot of fun playing in the snow because we live in Southern California, so we don't get snow here. <laughs> um, and so we have to go drive someplace when we want to experience it. Anyhow, so they were gone and I was up in my room one evening while they were gone and thinking this would be a great opportunity to actually clean the tile floors. It is not something that I do that often. The, I don't know what these tiles are made out of, but they retain dirt like nothing else. We have had them professionally cleaned once and they told me that they were not a porous tile. Uh, but from my experience with the 13 years I've been living in this house and dealing with them, they trap dirt into something on the tile. So to me, yes, they are porous, uh, but apparently not technically porous if that makes sense uh, according to the tile cleaners or the floor cleaners that came anyhow so years ago I think it's been a few years now my husband found this floor cleaner it's just a high-powered like bristle brush thing <laughs> to clean with uh, it's just a hard hard bristle brush on the bottom you can like put different attachments on the bottom Anyways, so we ended up buying this. We actually share it with my parents after we bought it. My mom thought, oh, this would actually be really good for her tile floors as well. So it lives half the time with us and half the time with them. It just kind of goes back and forth. Uh, she uses it a lot more than me, but she also has a lot less area that she uses it on. So she uses it more frequently than I do. I uh, use it probably less than a handful of times throughout the year just because it is a long process. So anyhow, I was thinking at night one night, I had cleaned up around the house, I had vacuumed all of the floor, you know, picked up all the toys and vacuumed everything, which is always a great feeling. And I was realizing as I was lying in bed that this actually makes for a great opportunity to clean the tile floors, because that's one of the reasons why it takes so stinking long to do this, is that it's not just cleaning the floors with this machine it is picking up all the toys and the trash and either vacuuming or sweeping everything and then finally getting to this. And I have found the best way so far to actually clean the floors is I use uh, baking soda. That's what you see me sprinkling. I just have an old Parmesan cheese container that I filled with baking soda. And I sprinkle that on the floor and then I have a homemade general cleaner. It's 50% water, 50% vinegar, and then a few tablespoons of Dawn, blue Dawn liquid soap. And that's what we use to clean pretty much everything around our house. I wanted a safe cleaner for my kids to use, and so that's what we use. And so when the vinegar mixes with the baking soda, it helps to kind of bubble things up, and it really does help release a lot of the dirt in the tiles. Not everything. Um, but also it probably is my fault for not cleaning more often, but it's, you'll see, it is a task in itself and an ordeal. And I just don't have the capacity <laughs> physically or mentally to do it any more often than I do. Uh, so I sprinkle that on, I spray with my general cleaner, and then I will scrub with the, gosh, I don't even know what to call this thing, the tool. And then I go back over all of that with rags, just terry cloth rags that we use for cleaning all over the house regularly. And I wipe it up because it lifts up the dirt off the tiles, but 
it's not like it's sucking it up into a reservoir that I then later empty. It's just on the surface of the tiles. So I have to go and kind of mop that all up with the rags. Uh, the last few times I've done it, I've actually enlisted the help of my children and they each get to follow me around with the rags, wiping everything up. Um, and they've split it between rooms between them because that that is a big part of it is stopping and wiping it up. So when they've helped me, um, it's definitely helped it to go quicker. But I think this all in all took me, I wanna say four hours from start to finish. It was long. At this time, my toddler was still sleeping, which was a miracle because she normally doesn't sleep in that late. And then later uh, I did end up getting her, bringing her downstairs and I just had her strapped into her little booster seat in the dining room and ate food and watched shows on our tablet um, that we have. So that's how I kept her off the floor while I was doing this because it also still takes time to dry. And it's not like it was the warmest day out either being almost winter time, I guess, at this point. Yeah, so you'll see I'm just chugging away at it. In a minute, I will show you. Did I already show you a before and after? I can't remember. I think I'll show it to you in just a minute here or a few seconds. I'll show you a before and an after. And later, I wish that I had taken more of these. But like I said, I just don't have the mental capacity or physical capacity to do more than I already did. So it's coming up right here, I think. Oh, no, maybe not <laughs> a little bit. Oh yes, this is also what I did. Afterwards, I will vacuum up all the baking soda that's left on the ground because it'll dry up and then it's just a film over the floor. So I would go through and vacuum also afterwards. Here is that before. So <laughs> this is what it looked like before. You can see how gross and nasty it is. And like I said, I kind of wish I had shown you more of these so you could really get the full impact of how clean it got afterwards. And here's the after. The light makes it look a little bit brighter than it, it truly is, but you can see how much cleaner it is from doing this method. My mom says that she no longer needs to use the baking soda. She'll just wet the floor um, and then I think she still wipes it up a bit afterwards, but she said it, she started like this, but it hasn't needed it since. So maybe if I did it more often, I wouldn't need to go through the baking soda ordeal, which also requires me to do that vacuuming. And later also for, well, I guess it depends on how many children's feet are <laughs> going over the floor. Um, it, for a couple days afterwards, my toddler's feet were pretty white because they're just barefoot in the house. Uh, they were pretty white on the bottoms of her feet and it did get on our carpets and things like that, but it was just baking soda. So it vacuumed up pretty, pretty easily. Anyhow, I thought I would just explain what I was doing here and uh, let you come along with me if there's a task that, this is a task I definitely dread doing. So if there's a task that you dread doing, why don't you do it along with me? Or if it, even if it's just folding some laundry or doing some dishes, I'm here to try to motivate you. I was motivated by knowing I could film this and share it with you. And that is also, besides the family being gone and just being a good opportunity for it, that is another reason why I did it. Um, yeah, so I think though I'm going to just put some good music. Well, hopefully I can find some good royalty for your music for you for the background. And you can enjoy that while you also get something done. And even if it's just background for just <laughs> sitting around and relaxing, I hope it helps you to be able to relax as well or just have, you know, some good music going on in the background. So I hope you enjoy. Did you ever stop and think Why spend too much time just getting ready? Let me be honest I don't know a single thing That I haven't done to make you notice me Let me be real here When I see you my heart starts racing But I don't know if I like this chasing And playing and waiting around it's a shame that my hands start shaking All of the time when you're around me But this time, this time Girl, I know what's bothering me I need somebody to love Oh, nah, 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 nah Don't you see what's wrong with me? I need somebody to love Oh, oh, nah, nah I don't know what I could say to 
talking to each other I know we feel the same About the situation Like we're stuck inside a game Time to get out of this circle Yeah, we both carry a scar Let's rewrite the part we're playing Time to cherish who we are The only thing I ever wanted Starts with us taking the chance Not like anything we've done before Oh, oh, yeah Now it's time for something better And time for us to follow our dreams No, we can't stay no more oh. Come run away Now, nothing but waves in this filling in I wanna dry up, but you Just keep on going, don't you? I don't even know how we got here All my reasoning have disappeared I wanna bury the hatchet And find the way back to our home Our home, our home We don't have to drift inside this dome I will not let us fade away It's not a price I wanna pay And it's not too late No, we lost our purpose Chasing all that surplus You were all that I need I feel that we can break free We can still go back there To a place with no cares We can turn this ship around We can turn this ship around All the way back home Could be ourselves Didn't have much but nevertheless We were true to each other But now we don't even bother I remember you being hopeful But the tall waves have worn us down And slowly we are drowning 
That's why you need to come with me, with me, with me Turn around 180 degrees and cross the sea I will not let us fade away It's not a price I wanna pay And it's not too late No, we lost our purpose Chasing all that surplus You were all that I need I feel that we can break free We can still go back there To a place with no cares We can turn this ship around We can turn this ship around All the way back home Chasing all that we do not care Chasing all that we don't have Chasing all that could do so many great things So believe in me, I believe in you And I just feel that this will be an upswing So hear me out I know we lost our purpose Chasing all that surplus You were all that I need I feel that we can break free We can still go back